What's going on everybody? It's your boy Justin Norm. I am here back on my Just the Art channel for a tutorial of sorts, or really it's a speed art of LeBron James from the Space Jam 2. I am so excited to see this movie. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm looking forward to seeing it. So if you like my art content and you need more tips with Adobe Illustrator, definitely check out my Just the Art channel. If you like what you see there, definitely hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit the notification bell so that way you're notified every time I post a new video. Let's do it. All right, first things first, uh, I've got this pulled up and I've already created my project. I have it set on uh, 18 by 18 inches and I am going to back over here to my Adobe Illustrator. If you click Control Plus, it'll allow you to zoom in. I've already created a brush. No, I have not. I have not created a brush. Let me create a brush real quick. So I'm gonna click plus sign over here, a new brush, uh, calligraphic brush. And sometimes it's always hard for me to say that thing. You can uh, name your brush if you want to. Uh, I'm gonna set it to three points. Sorry if you see me looking down, it's because I got my microphone right in the way and sometimes it's blocking my keyboard. So I can't see what I'm pressing. So three points pressure and I'm using the Vike A50 you can see the link for that in the description uh, if you click on the link and if you happen to purchase it or purchase anything through that link I do benefit from it I, I receive a small commission so definitely thank you for that but to let you know that it is affiliate links that are posted below some of them are anyway All right so I got it set for three points and I already got this layer locked I already have my opacity adjusted. Um, and now all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a new layer. And I'm gonna go ahead and get to this line work. Um, I'm gonna try my best to make sure that I do a decent job with this. I'm gonna click my brush tool. Right now I gotta set it one. I'm gonna drop it down to 175. Nose. Yeah, smoothness is good. Press A if you want to adjust some things. Like I don't quite like this line, so I can adjust it a little bit, bring it in if I need to. Or I can just redraw it again if I need to. Press N on your keyboard, press Shift X. That'll allow you to get to the pencil tool and put it on field. Press the stroke.
I would not draw this uh, shadow like this, but I decided to do it this time. I'm going to redo this again, though. The only thing that I hate about dropping opacity, sometimes it's kind of hard to see exactly where everything is. So sometimes it's almost better to zoom out. Actually, I'm going to address uh, adjust this opacity. So un unlock the layer, click on the picture. good to press control s uh, so that way you don't so that way you don't forget to save your project is that gonna be a hassle if you forget to save it take those dots and make sure they touch. Yes, that this is still not correct. It takes a lot of patience to do this, and I am not. I am not perfect at this. So, <laughs> even though I'm up here making some type of tutorial, this is mainly practice for me, really, to be honest. Uh, but it's always good to record yourself.
is I'm gonna shift X again and turn back on it so I can see it. And I know that comes here. bracket which is next to letter P if you go down there to help you reduce it. so then I can
All right, you all, I'm going to stop right there, and this is going to be just for the first part of the line work. Uh, and then I'll make the second part, which will focus on finishing the line work and shading. All right, let's see how it comes out. Stay tuned. Make sure you check out, subscribe. Thank you. Take care.